Our son Philip is 26 years old and has cerebral palsy with profound and multiple learning disabilities. He has osteoporosis and has developed a severe spinal scoliosis which requires careful postural management. He was very uncomfortable in his previous wheelchair and although attempts had been made to design and build a seat which accommodated his scoliosis and postural needs, this had not been successful and we were advised by the company the local wheelchair service used that they couldn't do anything further and we would need a second opinion. We were supported to attend a different wheelchair service and I'd summarise this experience as follows. We attended the assessment appointment with our son as well as his physio, his OT and a postural care advisor. At the mid-fit appointment, we also took one of our son's carers to gain hair input and feedback. Everyone who attended felt that they had contributed and been listened to, and that their input was welcomed and considered to be important. The clinic was led by an experienced OT, and also involved a wheelchair technician and a wheelchair seating engineer. The service uses three different wheelchair seating companies. We were advised that if one company could not meet the patient's needs, they would draw on the other companies. However, they were very aware of the capabilities of each company and what they could provide. The assessment was extremely thorough and was very hands-on. For the first time ever, our son was assessed on a plinth and critical measurements recorded to feed into the requirements of the seat. This was done in collaboration with his own physio and OT and the postural care advisor. We were given a mid-fit appointment at the next seating clinic one month later and a final fitting and handover appointment at the clinic after that again one month later. Throughout the whole process we were very much aware of a can-do attitude that gave us both assurance and confidence. The people involved were extremely knowledgeable and for us the two essential elements of postural support and comfort for our son were key priorities for them. Consideration was also given to us and our son's carers as the people who have to help him in and out of his wheelchair and to push the chair around and get it into and out of his car, etc. We felt very much part of the whole assessment process. As a result of all of the above, our son has now been provided with a seat for a wheelchair which from a postural and technical perspective is very supportive and should, as part of his 24-hour postural care management, help to reduce the effects of his scoliosis. From a quality of life perspective, he just looks comfortable and can tolerate being in the chair much more than when he was in the previous chair. I can't begin to tell you how good it is to say that.